Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the first B vitamin in the B complex profile, and that's called thymine. Thymine is otherwise known as B1. And the B complex vitamins is phenomenal for energy production and the nervous system function. However, vitamin B1 is specifically for in to increase energy, mental focus, prevent memory loss, decrease systemic inflammation. Now, the, what is B1? What is it? How is it made? So forth and so on. It's important because it's involved in the Krebs cycle. Now, the Krebs cycle, this is what produces what's our energy in the form of what's called ATP. ATP is coined as our energy currency, and it's made in certain cells of our body called the mitochondria. Now, again, it, it, particularly in the brain, it's very, very important to have that ATP synthesis of the mitochondria in the brain so the brain works, so the brain function works at optimal levels. It's also needed for our DNA and RNA synthesis for our cells. Also, too, we have a neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter that's phenomenal for our brain function, memory function, and muscle function. We have a lot of neurotransmitters that function all over our body. Acetylcholine is specifically geared for brain and muscle. Also, too, it's important for myelin sheath production. Now, we have in our nervous system, in our nerves, we have this fat coating called myelin, okay? And the importance of speed transmission through the nervous system and directly involves how much myelin is on those nerves. So if you have decreased myelin, hence diabetes, this is where you have decreased nerve transmission and this is where you may not be able to feel your feet or you may feel tinglys on your, t on your, on your hands and feet. So vitamin B1 is important for the myelin sheath production of our nervous, uh, on the nervous system. Now who gets, who gets a deficiency? Anybody who has IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, because you're not absorbing those B vitamins. Alcohol will deplete you of B1 Alcoholics are phenomenally depleted in B1. Also, too, a high-carb diet. A high-carb diet will deplete you of vitamin B1. Diabetes and stress. Now, the, the irony about diabetes is that I, all my diabetic patients who are on the medications, the side effect is they deplete some of B1. This is, this is one of the reasons why they still get the nummies and tingies in their hands and toes, or they can't feel their toes because it's that myelin sheath production that's not being made due to B1 deficiency. Now, if you have a decrease of acetylcholine, remember acetylcholine is good for the brain and the muscle, you're going to experience memory loss, brain fog, depression, anxiety, if you have a decreased acetylcholine. Now remember, vitamin B1 is important in the production of acetylcholine, which also will lead also to nerve damage because of the myelin sheath production. So, it mimics seizure disorders. Now, I have a patient of mine who thought she was having seizures, when in reality, she just had a vitamin B1 deficiency. Also too, neuritis, peripheral neuropathy, diabetes, diabetics, okay, the numbness and tingling in their hands and feet, or if they can't feel their toes or, or the end of their toes, maybe a, B, B, a B1 deficiency. Vertigo. Also, too, this is very important. When you have low value of vitamin B1, you have increase in your blood, lactate, and pruvate levels. This just basically means that the muscles have to work harder. Because remember, acetylcholine is involved also in muscle, uh, the activation of muscle. So when you have increased blood lactate and pruvate levels in your blood, you're going to experience muscle pain, muscle aches. And which is going to lead to it's going to lead to heart conditions. Remember, your heart beats 24/7. It uses a phenomenal amount of mitochondrial ATP. It uses a lot of acetylcholine, and needs that vitamin B1 for that acetylcholine production. So the so, so it tells the heart to, uh, to to beat. Now, if you have a deficiency of vitamin B1, it is a term. It's called beriberi, and there's two types depending on where it's where it's affecting. There's wet beriberi, which is affects the heart. And there's dry beriberi, which affects the nervous tissue. Now, here's the good news about vitamin B1 is that it is a water-soluble vitamin. So it does stay in your system for about 14 days, but it's so easy to get depleted. So this is where I always recommend daily doses of vitamin B1. And in some foods, lentils, pork, red meat, nuts, cauliflower, and spinach. High in vitamin B1. However, I always still recommend to supplement, your, to supplement with B1. I recommend the dose 
I, I rec because it is a water soluble vitamin, I always recommend let's start you high. Let's do 300 milligrams first thing in the morning to get the body going. Because remember, your cortisol levels are high. You're going to be burning a lot of ATP. You need that mitochondrial boost. So in the form, by supplementing with B1, it's going to kickstart that system into high gear so you'll feel better right off the bat. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Please share with a friend. Keep on subscribing to my channel. I just love every time I wake up and I see more subscribers. I appreciate all the comments. Be well, and I'll see you next video. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. Hey, it's, over the last couple years, my YouTube channel has grown tremendously, and I can only appreciate it the viewers who subscribe. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button to get the first up-to-date videos, or you could always Google my name, Dr. Janan Jawad, and you could go to my JDoc Real Minute page. Again, if you hit the subscribe button, you'll get the most up-to-date videos, and thanks everybody who's watching. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you.